in this video we are covering our next lab numbered L20 and our primary objection is to install autopsy software on our computers. My advice uh, is to choose a desktop or a laptop with the most amount of memory because memory makes everything work more reliable and stable because uh, a lot of autopsy modules are very resource intensive. As you can see, I already have Autopsy uh, installed on, on my machine. Uh, I had to do this earlier to work on the materials for this course. So I already have it on my machine. I suggest that you watch this video from Brian Carrier uh, covering uh, a training for Autopsy software. And this handout contains the material uh, in this part three of the series of videos on Brian Carrier's playlist on YouTube, Autopsy install and configuration. So let's open this handout. As you watch the video, you can go over uh, this in a step-by-step -step manner. Just read uh, the information, uh, choose your target uh, platform operating system. I'm using Windows 10 for this presentation uh, and it really works well on, on my computer. Uh, so uh, you can also uh, read the instructions how to do this on a Linux or Mac computer. Uh, so part of this installation, I'm just, just going over some highlights here. Part of this um, installation of course, if you're running a system that requires multiple users, there's a, there's important uh, part of configuration covered in the video, uh, Brian Carrier's video, uh, to to specify a network um, network license server and allow it to uh, run using NAS storage. And uh, this is the screen and information that you will fill out if you are setting up a multi-user uh, set of clients. So I'm just going to skip over this. We're not doing any of this. Uh, this step right here, I would say, is the most important one uh, when you do the install. Make sure that uh, when it goes um, into this dialog box covering a uh, central repository, uh, make sure that uh, you enable it. It's a really key part uh, to allow uh, central repository to be used which uh, will allow um, cross-reference of uh, keywords and hash values across multiple cases that we will be creating in Autopsy. And our labs depend on central repository. So this is very important. Uh, don't neglect this step. If you have already installed uh, Autopsy earlier and did not allow central repository, then you can just go to Tools Options Central Repository and uh, uh, reconfigure it um, as covered in the instructional video. So basically, uh, these are all very straightforward um, uh, settings. Let me show you what I have uh, in in my uh, settings. So I'll just close this uh, dialog box and go to Tools, Options, and Central Repository. So you can see that um, currently I have installed this product and uh, I did not allow Central Repository. So uh, I left it here for our lab to manually configure the information. So I'm opening our lab handout. And here is the uh, uh, instructions how to enable the central repository. So I'll just follow these um, follow these simple steps right here. So this is my um, uh, dialog box. We check uh, to use a central repository and uh, we can now configure it. Okay, so this is the dialog box, and you can see how it prompts for uh, your uh, user location 
to default autopsy configuration right here and uh, you really don't have to change anything you can obviously browse for something else but uh, you see that after installation is complete it's already here i'm just going to uh, um, to to leave the the default settings so uh, as they are and just use them now if i click ok uh, so it uh, allows me to create the directory and uh, now it's being uh, allowed and check marked as I'm using central repository so whichever you, is your case uh, as you're installing it you make sure that you just just enable it or if you have previously installed it make sure that at this stage you just go and uh, configure it all right so um, we may as well just um, overview what what is left in this lab after the install is complete you just uh, i just want you to launch the autopsy like i did so right now i'm just clicking ok right here so this is this is the autopsy already running and um, uh, dismiss welcome window and uh, and the go to help about so help about dialog box is right here it opens on the second screen that i have and i'm asking you to uh, just copy from your um, about box uh, what is your product version what is the the sleuth kit you're uh, using uh, just tell me if everything installed correctly on your system i would like to make sure that everything is running okay um, and uh, if you did have any issues uh, just uh, uh, describe them here i would like to know this is not for deducting any points this is uh, specifically so that um, i am aware of what is your um, situation and how is everything running on your machine because um, after uh, this section our laboratories are going to be using this um, um, forensic tool uh, very um, intensively and when you're all done with this just uh, save your changes and uh, whenever everything is uh, looking good just uh, submit it for grading i hope everything works well on your machine and uh, this is our coverage of lab 20. and uh, let's take a look at autopsy.com so you just proceed directly to download page and uh, obviously for windows it's uh, an obvious choice you probably want 64 bit because it's going to run uh, about two times faster than 32 bit um, and uh, that's your choice and for other operating systems there are instructions and the files to download um, i don't believe you have to uh, fill out any of this any of the registration right here uh, but um, if you are planning to get a commercial support for your product this is the place where you register and you then later can can choose your uh, support levels